Hello viewers, it's me Miko Villarreal and I'm here to do another video and it's going to be a really interesting video because I'm going to tell you all the monsters and villains from the Goosebumps movie that were actually deleted from the second draft of the script. I mean the ones that were in the second draft of the script. I used my mom's phone to uh, tell you what are the monsters. So let's begin. So the monsters are Slappy the Dummy from the Night of the Dummy Circle. Of course, Slappy would be in a movie. Why wouldn't he? Hannah the Fairchild from The Ghost Next Door, The Abominable Snowman of Pasadena, Clum the Horror and the Monster Police from the Goosebumps Horrorland series. Yeah, I remember them being in Monster Bunch for Breakfast, and maybe they were in some other books, I forgot them. They're kind of forgettable monsters, just uh, Cuddles the Hamster and Monster Bug from the Monster Bug Saga. Why didn't they put them in a movie? They had more than books, they had more books than the Haunted Mask, for crying out loud. The Haunted Car. The Blob It Ate Everyone, Giant Praying Mantises from A Shock on Shock Street, The Lawn Gnomes from Revenge of the Lawn Gnomes, and Planet of the Lawn Gnomes, multiple werewolves including the Werewolf Fever Swamp and the book from the book of the same name. Uh, also, Hannah Stoneman from Werewolf Skin and Anna Aaron Friedis from the more overrated book, The Werewolf in the Living Room. We got uh, Vampire Bats from the Trapped in the Batwing Hall. Uh, we got Murder the Clown from when the ghost dog howls, the night screaming armor, the hooded executioner. Yeah, why didn't they put him too much in the movie? He was just over here for a cameo. Graveyard ghouls, mummies from Cars and Mummies Tomb, the man eating plant from your plant food, the camp spirit moon campers from Ghost Camp, vampire ghouls from Please Don't Feed the Vampire Beasts from the East, the vampires um, from Vampire Breath, the scarecrows, the bug eyed aliens from Invasion the Body Squeezers. The Scarecrow from the Scarecrow Walks of Midnight. Oh, I did that right. Uh, we got the Beast from Why Afraid of Beast, Serpents from Welcome to Camp Slither, the Sea Monster from Deep Trouble, the Bog Monsters from How to Kill a Monster, Spiders from Night of the Giant Everything, Captain Ben One Leg from Cliff in the Deep, Deadless Ghost, Again, Andrew Craw, Han Mask, Splatters from Earth Peaks Must Go, which is from an old story, Vampirilla, which was actually mentioned by Champ in the second draft of the script from the deadly experience of Dr. Eek. We got the class of 1947 from the haunted school and the additional horrors from One Day of Horrorland Return to Horrorland and the Goosebumps Horrorland series. Why didn't they put some of these monsters in the script? I guess the horrors were not really needed because we got the, the ghouls or something like that. But come on, Horrorland, that's one of the more famous books in the series. Heck, I got a whole spin-off series. And there's Captain Ben One Leg in the movie. Yeah, he was there in the survival guide. So we got him on, him in the movie, why not put the horrors, right? Yeah, that's kind of weird. Also, we have the class of 1947 from one of the best books in Goosebumps, The Haunted School. Wow, the original script was awesome. Thanks for watching this video, guys. See you next time.